Alex from Genesis Media here. A quick tutorial showing you how to add scalable vector icons to a Joomla 3 website with Font Awesome. And uh, you can use this outside of Joomla as well. It's not exclusive for Joomla. Um, vector graphics, what are they? Simple, they're uh, graphics based on mathematical equations uh, for the shapes and colors instead of pixels, which means you can scale it up as big as you want and you don't get the pixelization. It, it stays true to form. You can go to the blog at genesismedia.net.au forward slash blog and find the tutorial here in step-by-step -step form where you can also copy the code from. Um, so let's have a look at our, I've got a Joomla test site set up with this article here, three columns, and I want to add icons at the top of each of these. So here's what it looks like in the back end. You will have to use a HTML editor. Uh, this is Rockpad by Rocket Team. It's really handy. But you can use um, JCE in HTML mode or Code Mirror built into Joomla. You may not be able to use TinyMC with the toggle editor function because sometimes it likes to strip out bits of code that you put in there. It just keeps the basic code. So uh, use Code Mirror or JCE or Rockpad. Now we go over to Font Awesome. These are the guys that make it possible. We actually link into this website rather than uploading images onto the site. We just link in here and then we create a little piece of code with a class name on it and it puts it there for us. And then we can style the icons like we, like we would with text. So we can font size, color, all that sort of thing. And we can resize things really easily. So that saves us mucking around in Photoshop, resizing images and getting them, you know, different size images for different places. You can do it all with code. It's super, super easy. So fontawesome.io, click on get started up the top. And then for Joomla, I just copy this link here. Um, depending on what you're using, you might have to use some of these other methods that they have below. But on Joomla, we'll just use this and a copy with uh, with Control C, Command C here, because I'm on a Mac. Um, now we'll have to open up our index file to paste this in. Now you can see here's our test, our Joomla test install. Here's our Joomla files. We're not editing. We're not editing this index PHP. We're going into our templates folder, into your template folder, and in this case it's Protostar, the default, and we're editing this one here. So we'll open it in Dreamweaver, and you'll have to copy this code just after the head tag. So if I scroll down past all this stuff that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, uh, there it is. And we paste that little bit of code from Font Awesome in there. And I'm Command Save to save that. Uh, back over to Font Awesome. Now we get the code to put into our Joomla website. And you can get it from here. Examples at the top there. And they give you some idea on how there's these different classes you can add to get different sizes. Um, but then you, you, we can actually change the sizes. We can customize them ourselves and I'll show you how we do that in a sec. I'll just copy that piece of code there over to our Joomla site and I, I'll just maximize this and command V in that code where I want it to go. Now we'll change some of this. Oh, what's going on here? Um, I will change this. If you back over to Font Awesome and you go to the icons, this shows you all our icons. So I'm going to use a couple of different ones. I'll use the heart, which is there somewhere. And uh, we'll use gears as well, FA gears. And so we'll just change a couple of these so I can show you. We'll change this to that. And that to gears. Now save that and over to the front end and refresh the screen. And lo and behold, 
here are our awesome vector icons. Now I'll show you how we can style these very easily. We're just going to open up a custom style sheet and we're going to use this class here that's that was included with our icons. So um, <clears throat> now if you're in Joomla you can go back up into your template folder and into CSS and you can put this CSS into your template CSS or if you've got a custom CSS file here like me you can you can dump it in there so we'll open that up and now I've actually got uh, here's a little piece of code or copy that out Over under here, don't forget the dot that I didn't copy. Okay, so here's that class that we got from the icon that we pasted from font. And you can see I've just I've changed the size, font 10 em, font size. It's the same controls you'd use for a font. I've got given it a color. Now let's we'll take this out for now. That's a little bit extra. We'll save that out. And uh, whoops, let's have a look and see what we've done. Refresh that. There you go. You can see just with a tiny little piece of code, we've made them bigger. We've changed the colors. Now for a final touch, there's a uh, wrong thing. That little piece of code. I've just added in a padding, a border and a border radius to get this result. Look at that. It's lovely. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, f um, subscribe to the channel, um, link to the blog. That'd be great. Hope you enjoy that.